Hello world, it's John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant video blogger, and I am here with my favorite home inspector, termite inspector, roofing inspector, representative manager of Home Guard, Eric Seren. How are you, Eric? Very well, John. Thank you. Very good. We're going to talk about limited inspections. Okay. I will wax poetic for a little while. Um, there's only uh, one thing that I find more annoying than a substandard disclosure package by the listing agent uh, with nothing in it, uh, and that is when they provide us with reports that are very limited, uh, very open-ended, mm -hmm. uh, don't inspect this, do inspect that. So uh, enlighten us. Uh, what is a limited termite report, Eric? Absolutely. Uh, I will start by saying there are times when you do need to do a limited report, and a perfect example would be if you're doing a, a townhouse or a condominium. Good example. We're doing a termite report, which we're inspecting the structure. We are not inspecting the complete in structure, so in that case, we do need to do a limited report. Um, if you're doing a detached single-family home, I don't see any reason why you would want to do a limited report. You want to get us to get all the information out and disclose it to those buyers that are out there. Make sure you don't have any little skeletons waiting for you in the closet when they find out there may be an issue out there. Mm -hmm. Like those listings that show better at night with no electricity oh, yeah. in the dark. I bought a car like that once. <laughs> That's what a limited report is exactly. like. Exactly. So uh, how often, if you had to put a percentage on it, do listing agents... Uh, request a quote-unquote limited termite report? Uh, that's a good question. I would have to say maybe 30, 40 percent of the time we see a limited report. I think the agent is afraid that by putting these items on the report they're going to limit the amount of people that are interested in the house. I think that's the opposite because actually if I'm buying a house I want to know everything there is to know about the structure whether or not I'm going to fix the deck or the outbuilding that stuff doesn't really matter, but at least I'll know the condition of those things before I purchase the home. I agree with that, and I think uh, rather than ordering a limited report, you order the Mac Daddy full termite report, right. uh, disclose everything uh, that has anything to do with roof termite, home inspection, plumbing, electrical, uh, and then if there's issues, uh, your seller either fixes them or they don't, and if they don't, uh, there's a price for everything, including a house with a lot of deferred maintenance. Absolutely. What do, you, what do you think of that approach? Yeah, absolutely. You can negotiate the price. Hopefully, when you've priced that home, you know where you put your price point so that you realize there are maybe some issues that need to be dealt with. You guys figure that out in your negotiations, but let us do the inspections and get you protected to get all that information out there to your buyers. Very good. So if you have some final words of wisdom to listing agents, sellers, buyers, agents, buyers, when they're uh, ordering or reading a limited termite report, uh, what would you impart to the viewing audience? I would say get the full inspection if you can. A limited report is limiting the amount of information you're getting out there to the buyers and you're liber limiting your coverage by opening liability to yourself for unknowns. Excellent. And as I have mentioned in other videos, I love doing business with Home Guard as a listing agent because I can call 1-800 number and order roof inspection, termite inspection, home inspection, pool inspection, natural hazard disclosure, and a home warranty with 1-800 number. So that's good. I try to uh, consolidate uh, and keep to a minimum uh, the number of people that I have to work with. And you guys solve a lot of problems in one phone call. We're your one-stop shop for all your real estate needs. So call Home Guard for everything. Oh, I like that. Thank you, sir. You should put that on your... On your logo. I'm, I'm thinking about that. <laughs> Very good. Well, uh, again, this is John Pinto, your roving realtor, bon vivant video blogger. Uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video.